In this video I'll show you how to refresh your BIOS if it failed due to a bad update or got corrupted on its own. I also show you how to make a backup dump if needed. A corrupted BIOS is a common laptop issue and you can easily fix it with this 5 bucks programmer. It works with different types of chips used in various devices. It comes with a bunch of adapters for different chip sizes and voltages. The links in the description. I've got a Dell board here that powers on, all voltages are fine, but no picture and it shuts off after a minute. So I think the BIOS might be corrupted. Let's try to fix it. First download and install the driver, the link's down below. Then download the programming software. I recommend using Neo Programmer. It's very simple and gets the job done. Now let's take a look at the USB programmer. As you can see, the connector is split into two sections. For flash and a BIOS chip, use the site label 25 SPI BIOS. For other chips like EEPROMs, you'll use this site. As you can see, these dots mark pin number 1, here and here. The clip usually has a red wire and a marking to show pin 1. So you need to connect it like this. On the chip, pin 1 is usually marked with a small dot. Next, use a microscope or your phone's macro mode to take a photo or write down all the markings on the chip. Make sure the BIOS battery or main laptop battery is disconnected. Now carefully attach the clip to the chip, with the red wire going to pin 1. Then plug the programmer into USB port. In new programmer, click Detect IC. If you get an IC not responding error, just reconnect the clip and try again. Once detected, select the exact chip model from the list, or you search if it doesn't show up. After selecting the chip, the software will display the correct placement and operating voltage. Most common chips run at 3.3 volts, which this programmer provides, but if you have a 1.8 volt chip, you'll need to use this voltage adapter. Attach it to the programmer like so, then connect the clip. Just make sure to check your chip's datasheet before you start, so you know which voltage it needs. Once the chip is recognized, click Read AC. When it's done reading, save the BIOS file. Here it is. That's how easily you can back up the original firmware from any BIOS or EEPROM chip. Now let's download and write a new BIOS. Finding the right file is often the trickiest part. You need a bin file, so check your device brand's website first. If they only offer .exe, you can extract the bin file using some YouTube videos. You can also check laptop repair forums and request file if needed. Here is my new BIOS file, click Open File, select the file, and then click Erase Chip. Once done, click Write AC. And that's it. As you can see, flashing the BIOS fixed the laptop. 